Hello everyone, this is Oimbo John from Junior Street and this will be the first lecture in the oil and gas um, operations playlist. Now, um, we are going to start with oil characterization today. Um, the learning objective is um, to be able to use the oil characterization option in high seas. Now let's just do a brief introduction. The petroleum oil characterization method in high seas will convert laboratory analysis of condensate crude oil, petroleum cuts and coal tar liquid into a series of discrete hypothetical components. Now these petroleum hypo components provide the basis for the property package to predict the remaining thermodynamic and transport properties necessary for fluid modeling. Also, HISIS will produce a complete set of physical and critical properties for the petroleum hypo component with a minimal amount of information. However, the more information you supply, the more accurate these properties will be predicted by HISIS. Now, now in this particular lecture, the oil characterization option that ISIS is used to model a crude oil. The crude is the feedstock to an oil refining process, which we will see in the subsequent lecture. Now, the, let's talk about assay. The assay contains all of the petroleum laboratory data, boiling point, boiling point curves, light ends, property curves, and bulk properties. Now, HISIS uses the supplied assay data to generate internal TBP, that's true boiling point, molecular weight, density, viscosity curves, which are referred to as um, working curves. Now, bulk properties for the sample may also be supplied. So, when it's supplied, it is used. The bulk properties are optional if a distillation curve or um, chromatograph have been supplied. Now, here's a problem statement. Um, with the aid of the oil characterization option in ISIS, model a crude oil with the following data. Now, the crude oil is the feedstock to oil refining process. The fluid package to be used is Ben Robinson. The standard density is 29 API 60. Now, this is the light end volume you can see for methane, methane up to N pentane, N pentane, and these are the liquid volume then this is the tbp um, distillation data the assay percent and respective temperatures in degree celsius liquid volume percent so um let's go to isis Okay. Of course, first thing we need to do is to add a um, component. So let me. I just hold shift, then arrow down to N pentane. N pentane. I click on add. Okay. I just. I want it to be at the top. Okay, that's that then. Fleet package, we can select Peng Robinson as instructed. Okay. Then I clicked on um, oil manager so we can come here and say input aside then add bulk property used we are only giving the standard density which was 29 API 60 assay data is um, TBP 
okay the selection i say basis is um, liquid volume then let's edit our side i say rather then let's impute it zero four nine fourteen twenty thirty forty fifty sixty seventy seventy six and eighty so we can increase the corresponding temperatures now minus twelve thirty two seventy four one one six one five four two two four two seven three three two seven three nine three four five zero seven four nine zero five one six okay I think that's that then okay the light end we give let's input the composition liquid volume basis okay for methane so zero point zero zero six five zero point zero two two five zero point three two zero 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 point two four one point seven five one point six five two point two five okay let me just go back to the slides just so you can have an overview of everything so i think it's correct yes it should be so you can pause the video to write it down and just pause it and and be inputting the data on your high seas okay let's go back to high seas now okay you can click on calculate okay the assay was calculated so let's go to the output blend and add click on assay one then assay one then add then after that you install the oil yes you're installing blend one install so we've added this assay so we have to install oil stream name let's call this crude oil then install oil that should be installed so you can check the tables here these are the working tables we are working with as you can see the hypos that have been generated here and these are the tables we are working with component physical properties we can also check the oil distribution as you can see this is naphtha, kerosene, diesel, gas oil, residue, everything is here. These are their respective fractions. So we can go to our simulation environment. We already installed it as um, crude oil. So here's what we installed. If you click on this now, you just have to specify temperature, pressure, and maybe the molar flow which we'll do in the next lecture because then we we'll do the preheat train before it enters the atmospheric um distillate distillation column so i think that's that'll be all for this lecture thank you very much i really hope you learned once again this is Winnie john from junior screen kindly do well to subscribe to my youtube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you learned thank you very much